Well, hey, we're down at Time with Star 3 Finishing in Grand Rapids, Michigan. 616-453-8309. Check out our beautiful website at www.timelessartgr.com. Well, we are going to be uh, working on this old Zenith, Zenith radio again today. What model is it, Corey? Uh, that is a 10S 153. There you go. You heard it straight from Corey. Well, we figured we'd give you a little tour of the shop here so you can see what we're kind of doing here. We got a beautiful dining room table back under here. We got a bunch of drawer fronts right here. <coughs> up, in our, <coughs> up in our loft up there, we got more furniture waiting to be refinished. We got stuff back in here. You can see a beautiful hutch right there. That came out of Chicago. <coughs> hutch is uh, straight out of Chicago. There's some of the beautiful chairs up in the loft that they came from Chicago. Um, so we're going to go around over to here for a minute. And um, this section uh, down here is our uh, basically our repair room. We got all of our saws right here. Band saw, jigsaw, shelf sander, planer, joiner. And of course we got furniture here too because there's just so much going on. We got this beautiful walnut antique outfit right down here. It's uh, waiting to be refinished. Tabletop goes with it. We got this beautiful antique ice box right here. That's gonna be Corey's next project right there. We got a bunch of kitchen cabinet doors right here from Saugatuck, Michigan. And get over to the other half of the shop over here. We got an old Victrola right here. That's waiting for restoration. We got a couple of dining room tables right here. Um, table saw over here because we got nowhere to put it. Tons of junk all over the place. We got this uh, beautiful buffet right here. You can't see it. Maybe Corey is on the other side over there can show it. This came out of Chicago, Illinois. Um, it's already stripped. I got to get going on that. We got another job over here out of Chicago. Um, this will probably be a job Corey's going to be getting to because Bruce has got too many jobs started right now. Um, oh, yeah. <clears throat> we got this broken up dining room table here that somebody decided to put on the roof of their car and tie it down. and. That's the result of what happens when you put something on the roof of a car. I got to glue that back together before we uh, even think about refinishing that. Um, old cedar chest down here that I got to get stripped and I got repairs on that. We got uh, this beautiful little, oh, it's all covered up. It's a beautiful little piece of baker, baker furniture right here. We got this great big uh, desk here that came out of Detroit. This is a Baker furniture too. We do a lot of Baker and Kendall and Whitcomb stuff down here. Uh, here's an old quarter saw and oak table base. That's our uh, bed stripped. We gotta sand it up. And basically, uh, Corey's been in here working, stripping this on, in, the, in the tank. We got some mahogany drawers down here. We got this big old beautiful desk. Um, it's so heavy and it's so old, the legs are broke off. I gotta fix that and then strip that, refinish that. Oh, yeah, look at that. We got half of a gorgeous radio down here. Well, this is part of it, but there's supposed to be six of these. And there was only three, and the owner is going to have me uh, rebuild some more, and then he found another radio. So that was painted after we got the paint off it. He decided to, uh, he's going to bring it out a different one. So, we got stuff like that. Dresser like this. We got this little tiny um, rocking chair here that I've got to get over on a wood lathe to make spindles to. And I'm going to try and do that today. It's been around too long. Here's another shot of the machine room over here. Um, you know, lots of stuff that was going on in my younger son, Corey's area over here. 
And on this rack, we got a bunch of kitchen cabinets and new ones and, and old ones. And here are some chairs that Corey had stripped, and he's got them sanded and sealed up. And he's working on it. That was a table base in a tank, you see. Here's a beautiful piece right here that Corey just got done finishing. Um, we're going to be trying to deliver that tomorrow. There's the other table base path that goes with chairs. Um, piece of walnut right here. And some background over here. We got this radio setting over here. And so I'm about halfway done. I just got a, a little more toning on it. And put some stripes on it. And um, that goes back to Detroit. We got this little bird's eye maple outfit here, children's. And then four tables are Baker furniture. Back in the corner, back by that yellow chair. That's a, with a tape on it. That's a John Whittacombe's piece. Ah, look at over here. Another little tiny radio from Wisconsin here. That's a Silverstone, or sil Silvertone. I just gotta put a sticker on that and uh, coat it out. And, uh, and we got furniture over here too. But anyhow, right now, get back on this radio over here. What was it again, Corey? Tinos 153. And this is the one that we actually stripped yesterday. And um, it's been stripped and I just got done sanding it. And I'm gonna start out my finishing process with, with a couple coats of uh, clear coat on it. And then tomorrow, I will lightly sand it and pad it in grain filler into the walnut. And um, then after that, the next day I'll start coating it, then I'll be toning in here. So, well, we're going to show you what it's going to look like.
Well, so as you can see, come on up here, Corey, a little bit. It's got a lot of beautiful color in it. We uh, usually strip them down. I sand them up good. I do the repairs on them. Then I wash them back with lacquer thinner and it helps pull the color back out a little bit. We don't use a stripper that takes the color out. Um, so as you can see, this is the walnut in here. Up on top is also the walnut. And along this and the strip down here and the baseboard is a whole different wood which gets toned a little bit differently. Um, it wasn't made with walnut, so it's not going to look the same, and that's why they tone it uh, to give it that effect. But uh, as we start to tone this radio out, right now it really has some beautiful colors. To it. Um, so it'd be almost be a shame to darken the radio up a whole lot and make it look kind of muddy. But um, we will be putting a little bit of color in here. We'll pad a wood, wood filler in here tomorrow through the top and the sides. That will help fill the grain. Um, and then I will come back and do some gun shading on, on the whole cabinet and enhance the walnut so it's a little richer looking. And then I will coat that out and then I will tape up the walnut and I will start toning the sides, um, the fret in here and the base um, with a, a shader toner that I mix up myself and uh, pull it off. And I might do that a couple times because when you're toning this and you got this part of the radial taped off and you're just seeing the areas that you're shading, you don't want to go real drastically overboard and it's just too dark, you know, when you take the tape off, the tape, the radio, you know, the paper off the radio. So I usually shade these a couple of times. And here's a perfect example of, of, uh, of this one here too, you know, this one here was shaded. Um, in through here and up along in here and um, I'm going to put a little bit more color on the top of this one and uh, but yeah I, I have this taped up I don't want to shade it and have it be an overly dark at the same time um, but it's, it's, it's not really that dark so, uh, yeah thank you have a nice day